Hi, this is Philip from the Center for Quantum Nanoscience here in Seoul and I'd like to talk today about this image which shows the smallest MRI, the smallest magnetic resonance image ever taken. It shows the MRI of only one single atom. And today uh, I want to explain to you how we made this happen. So normally in, in a hospital when you take an MRI it looks more like this. And this shows um, typically the density um, of water and fat molecules in the human body. Um, and um, what you see there is actually the density of nuclear spins. Uh, a nuclear spin is a tiny magnet that is sitting in the nucleus, in the center of, of an atom. And uh, by applying a magnetic field and shining in radio waves, um, we can actually detect the density um, in our body. But usually for these images you need billions and billions of molecules uh, in order to see something. So um, what we wanted to do is to make these images for only one spin, an electron spin, that's similar to a nuclear spin, um, and only on one of them. And for that we actually used um, a special microscope, the so-called scanning tunneling microscope. If you follow our channel you have probably heard about that already. So it is in the end a very very sharp metal tip um, that similar like reading braille you scan across a surface and whenever you have something on the surface um, your tip can feel that. For example these uh, ball-like structures which uh, should represent atoms. And in this is how a typical of these images looks like and what you have in the center is um, a titanium atom that we deposited there uh, in order to investigate it. So we can actually already see these atoms. So um, with our MRI, our single atom MRI, we wanted now to uh, study the magnetic properties of these atoms because titanium is actually um, a very small um, magnet itself than a spin. And um, in order to do that, we actually made our tip also magnetic. So we picked up one of these atoms from the surface and now what we could do is scan still our tip across the surface and um, feel how the two atoms interact or the two magnets interact, one on the tip and one on the surface. And actually what we found is that they actually um, um, behave similar like classical magnets. If you have two magnets and move them with respect to each other, at certain points they will attract each other and repel each other. And meaning that they have a positive or negative magnetic interaction energy. And by now imaging our tip magnet across the magnet on the surface, we could actually plot their magnetic interaction energy. And this looks like this. So on the left you have the titanium atom and on the right you have the MI image and the bright areas now show regions where the magnetic interaction um, has the same energy of the atom. And we can not only plot that for one energy but actually for uh, multiple energies and by plotting it for multiple energies we can really visualize the um, energy of the magnetic field around one of these atoms with very high precision. And um, in the future we want to use this single atom MRI actually to study more complex systems. For example uh, magnetism in molecules or in complex magnetic materials. We also want to use it to study and control quantum systems. Systems that behave vastly different uh, than classical systems and that be a great potential for future applications, for example for quantum sensing or quantum computation. So that's it, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to learn more, please follow the link in the description and subscribe. See you next time.